Good afternoon, uh, my dear students. Uh, so we uh, completed the chapter pre uh, peer pressure, and uh, we have uh, small exercises now to uh, conclude it. See, uh, if we go to the the bottom of the this chapter, uh, this uh, screenshot like uh, reflect. Yeah, now we understood what is the pressure, what is peer pressure, what is positive and its negative uh, pressures. So let's see. Uh, taking time out for your likes and dislikes so we should not be quick uh, to uh, uh, conclude about the likes and dislikes you should take little take, uh, uh, always take uh, take little time because sometimes our likes are uh, uh, not uh, good as per our choice so we need to have little time see uh, watching tv all the time you say we like it right but uh, making it a regular habit, a daily habit without anything, it's not good always. So we must give a little time to think about what are the likes and dislikes, right? So another one is being very critical about yourself. You should never be. Okay, it's a negative uh, pressure because uh, finally health is wealth. We need to have little patience to deal with our uh, uh, things. Uh, sometimes... Uh, we uh, have such a situation if we uh, are very critical about the situation we we may get collapsed god forbid we may lose something very important sometimes life so we need to deal things in a very appropriate manner coolly and comfortably right another one doing something else for a while exercising reading and playing sometimes when we have a pressure we need to divert the issue about it so we can go for exercise we can go for reading we can go for playing and all so that our mind gets little diverted and the pressure does not affect directly to our brain and heart so this is also a good thing we can listen to the music and do anything apart from that talking to someone friends parents teachers or counselors it's a good good thing also when we have the pressure when we feel that we we are in a situation that we need to tackle in a different way. We can uh, talk to our parents, friends, teachers, counselors. We are in a situation, please help us. How can we sort it out, right? So, we think parents are the best ones to uh, help it out like, more, more than anything because they are the ones who love us and uh, they do everything for us. Uh, taking on more tasks than your peers. That's also not a, it's a negative one also. Sometimes we have got a capability of uh, doing one level, understand? We need to go to the higher hierarchy, but not at a shout, not at a once. Uh, we need to have it in a stepwise manner so that uh, it does not create pressures in our uh, living. Believing in positive competition, very beautiful. See, there is always positive competition. I told you, when competition, that we say when we have that, uh, say, without opposition, there is no democracy. So similarly, without competition, there is no uh, successful su success. But that, that uh, competition need to be positive competition. Like if uh, in, in education field only, if, one, if your, one, your, one of your brother, one of your uh, classmate is... Uh, always uh, standing first uh, because it's because of his hard work and his intelligence so we need to push ourselves a little bit slowly like to achieve that thing it's not like with overnight we dream about it and it's tomorrow you won't be like that no it takes the time you just have to think that student that guy that brother of yours have put an effort to reach that destination similarly we need to have it in a positive way now uh, coding decoding we, uh, we can do it later uh, there's an act one more uh, see the example they are giving you a kind of an expression of feeling of a positive way to deal with them you are the monitor of your class and you can easily steal a copy of the upcoming test paper your friends want you to do it for them and so they can uh, cheat and score well in the test no it is a negative way of it's a negative situation we need not to deal in such a way we should not put ourselves in such a situation that we need to uh, steal papers from this everything you need to motivate your friends you need to do it uh, in a appropriate way like uh, 
if we can uh, study well make in small groups discuss things okay uh, make a schedule make a routine so that you can uh, achieve the uh, goal there is a new student in the class some of your classmates are planning to play a practical joke on him and they want to join in they want you to join in see joining group is not a bad thing but it should always be in a constructive and positive way maybe that cracking jokes or playing that uh, new trick with the new friend it may hurt his sentiments it may hurt his feelings which which may not recover which mean which may be irreparable so we should be away from it we should refrain ourselves doing it so another another expression is you know that you are not comfortable in a particular type of clothes but all of your friends wear those you fear that if you refuse to wear such a clothes you will be excluded from the group again this is all about your choices sometimes we have a dress code like uh, for a dinner we need a bow and jacket for dinner so that is a uniform that is not like dress code only is a kind of a uniform uniformity but sometimes we if we have to go to a party and uh, we if we have a different dress code does not mean that we cannot attend the party but always there is always some something follow your heart but not sometimes it becomes a little bit different also when we are not following the routine also like uh, uh, if we have to go to school school in a shoes and black shoes and everything suddenly you plan to wear a chapel that is awkward situation but in other social uh, social uh, civic uh, life and all you follow your heart what you like what you like to eat you should eat it uh you should uh wear what you feel good as per the uh, situation and it's not like you should not have a competition or oh, my friend is having one golden uh type in and all i must have that without and it creates a pressure so all i want to tell you that uh, there is always uh, listen to your heart there is always one saying that we should listen to our heart and follow the world thank you so much this is for today and we'll start another video thank you